Hey, what's up? It's Dave, and today we're going to talk about Windows 11. Should you go ahead and upgrade now that it's been t about two months since the official release, or should you still hold off? Well, let's dive in and see what the best bet is. Well, I went ahead and I took the plunge. Last week, I went and upgraded my Windows 10 on my desktop to Windows 11 because I'd wanted to have that that new interface I like the way the taskbar look I like I like the newness about it I wanted to dive and see what was going on but there was also a lot of glitches and things like that in the beginning one of the major bugs was the Ryzen processors having performance issues in games and things like that that was a, one of the big things that was really scary for a lot of people moving on. Also, the div, there was also some things with one of the major bugs they had was there would be a loop where some programs would be continuously using your your memory and just taking up space even though you'd close them. So there are some bugs here and there that, and a lot of people were saying, hey, it's not worth it. Don't wait a year, wait two years, wait until the very end where Windows 10, 10 is no longer has support and then you can get Windows 11, right? By time then, probably have Windows 12, but that's when you should get Windows 11, like in several, you know, five years. Now that's an exaggeration, of course, but a lot of people are saying something along the lines of, hey, wait six months wait a year I took the dive and I'm gonna go ahead and show you to my desktop and we'll take a look at some some of the processes seeing what's going on here we are Windows 11 first one of the major things I like is the improved interface or well, improved looks on the interface anyways the improvement is subjective Pre Take a look here. It's streamlined start menu. It's like a resume thing here. You have a a quick menu there, and some other nice features. Microsoft Store pin there on Mac. So you get some cool stuff. Take a look at how the performances are going. Processes. This is probably just you know average workload naturally you have the browser eating up a bunch of memory that was what I'm working with here let's pull up my specs as you can see it say 3080 Ti processor is the i7 10th gen K 16 gigs of RAM which these days 16 gigs kind of starting to show its age in that right now I don't have much going on I'm almost at 9 gigs of memory and then the resolution is 2k so far the only thing runs about you know average workload here let me go ahead and bump it up a little open up some applications and see what happens there I just went ahead and opened up a boatload of applications and uh, let's see what the performance is like alright we have the memory is really the only thing taking the blow here is the RAM that's I guess par for the course if you I say if you have a a gaming desktop and you're doing a lot of work and you like to leave things open it may be time to consider going to 32 gigs of RAM that is on my list of upgrades as you see the processors is gravy here it's only about less than 10 percent of its power and the video card the same I guess it's getting a little hot it's only about 70% usage even we have YouTube open we have a lot of graphics going on back here a lot of applications running in the background overall about the same 
in my experience with Windows 10. And you know, oh, yes, I do have a nice card, but in this situation, it's really just we're only looking at this CPU and the memory. And my my CPU is is just it's just solid. It's not uh, crazy, and my memory is pretty standard stuff there. So this would be like a huge workload, a bunch of programs open at once, you know, you're tabbing through them. It's doable, it's stable, nothing out of the ordinary. Consider at least having 16 gigs of RAM. So Windows will be able to handle a heavy workload on standard computers. It's pretty it's been pretty stable so far in my experience. Now I do have an Intel processor. However, the the situation with Ryzen has been resolved in an update that I believe happened in November. So if if your everyday workload is a concern, I'm here to re to let you know from my experience using it for about a week now, I haven't run into any glitches, any problems that have stopped me from doing any important tasks on my computer. If that's something that's a concern to you, I would say, and you, you're you on the fence, and or you do want Windows 11, you just want to wait, I would say just hop in, go for it, especially if your computer is eligible. There's nothing, nothing to worry about in terms of work. Uh, if you're on a laptop and you're eligible, go for it. If you're on a desktop, you're eligible, and you, you know, this is your working station, you, you are not gonna have any interruptions on that and you may need to reinstall some software here and there I had to reinstall NVIDIA experience you know uh, today just to make sure some things would to work because when you do an upgrade sometimes you have to reinstall the software but that's just par for the course I know a lot of people primary concern of course is how will my games run on Windows 11 I think when people think performance issues that's what they're kind of inkling to is like how the how my game's gonna run are they gonna am I gonna lose 10 20 percent performance is it is it gonna stutter is it gonna glitch out am I gonna lose my games lose my sponsors I'm gonna go ahead and boot up a game here and I just want you to take a look at how the game runs that your experience may differ but we'll see what it's like gaming on Windows 11 if this is something that you're thinking about and you're on the fence on. So this is Halo Infinite on Windows 11. What I want to do is show you what it'd be like to game on Windows 11 in case this is one of the factors that is making you make a break for you whether or not you're gonna upgrade. So we're gonna take a look at the settings I have here. So we have the video card, the monitor. It's going to be in 1440p, which is more demanding than full HD. We have a minimum frame rate of 60, maximum frame rate of 144. And then most of the settings here are going to be on ultra and a few on high. So let's take a look and see how gaming on Windows 11 may look for you. Something up ahead. I can feel it calling out to me. So far, it's been pretty smooth and snappy. These are the banished. Affirmative. They smell even worse than I imagined. You can smell them. Well, an array of sensors in your armor can, and I analyze the input. You smell fun, by the way. Over there, that's 
the source? The bridge is out. Yes, it is. Maybe there's a way to power it back up nearby. A lot of lighting, a lot of visuals, a lot of particles are happening, and it's running smoothly. Nothing out of the ordinary. I'd say Windows 11 is handling games just fine. Is it safe? I think so. Yes. It's safe. This... This is... part of me. I don't know why. I don't know how, but it is me. It was the last part I remember being deleted. Let me just... The verdict here is... If you're concerned about performance issues, glitches, things like that, I would say within the two months or so since release, they've done a lot of major improvements that have made it pretty stable, in my opinion. If I would say go for it. I'd say hop in. If you're eligible, if you're if you're on the fence, if you want to get Windows 11 but you're concerned, whether you have Intel or Ryzen, AMD, just go for it. Windows 11 is going to be the same and or better in most cases, in my opinion. So that's my verdict. Hop in. If this video helps you, you're on the fence, you weren't thinking about it, uh, you're, you're listening to the guys that are saying, hey, wait a year, but now you're going to go ahead and upgrade, uh, like the video. There's people out here probably on the fence about it or maybe haven't thought about Windows 11 because they're, they're taking, they're being ultra, ultra safe on the matter. I'd say just go for it uh, and uh, give it a like so other people can see it. Please subscribe. Uh, I'm going to make a video talking about, you know, computer components, including video cards and, and how to get them at some point. Subscribe, like the video, and uh, comment if you have anything else to add or if you have any questions on uh, Windows 11, and I can answer anything you have uh, based on the experience that I've had so far. Uh, until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.